What is Portainer? Portainer is an amazing open source project and you can use that uh, along with Docker to simplify the process of deployment, uh, manage different containers and different endpoints from the same instance. But not only that, it also has a not just beautiful, but also useful UI. And you know, I am a fan of the CLI, but having this visual presentation can help you if you make a video, an article, or if you just need to make a presentation. For example, I've used that for a presentation for the European Space Agency and it went great. Let's see how to install it. Okay, let's install Portainer and to follow along, you just need the Docker installed up and running on your machine. Usually when we use Docker to show all the containers, we type docker ps-a and we see something like this which works but it doesn't look very good. Here on the portainer.io official site there are a lot of information. Let's click on install. Here there are two versions, portainer CE which stands for community edition I think and portainer business. In this video we will install portainer CE. By the way here you can see the portainer docs which is also an open source project you can also start that let's go back to our installation and let's see how we can deploy portainer using docker portainer is a tool for docker but you can also install that with docker yes to install this on linux or windows the commands are the same for example on windows we just need to make a couple of commands we need to create a volume and then we need to run the container based on the official portainer image. So let's see all the volumes on our machine. Okay, and now let's create uh, the portainer volume. Let's check again. Okay, and now this long command. Let me copy past that. Let's create it, it's better. And here we can see this command. Dash D stands for detached. This means that this container will run in background. It will not block our terminal. Then we are publishing two ports, 8000 and 9000. The name of this container will be portainer. This is not mandatory, but it's useful. The restart policy is always. This means that if there is any problem, that will just restart automatically. And then we have two dash V options. One uses the docker.soc, which is a Unix socket that enables the Docker server side daemon to communicate uh, through the command line with REST API. And the second one, if you can remember, it's uh, just the portainer data volume. And since we don't have the image on our machine, this will pull the official portainer image from Docker Hub. Let's check it fast, updated 11 days ago. Okay, it's done. Now, if we do docker ps-a, we can see the container of portainer. And if we go on a browser and if we type localhost colon 9000, we can see this beautiful UI. You can choose a username, password and confirm password. And then we can create a user. Then we can click on docker, manage the local docker environment, connect. And here we can see the configuration of our docker machine in a more suitable way. You can see the users, teams, uh, endpoints, uh, registries, settings. For example, you can click on local, containers, images, volumes, click on three containers. And here we can see two containers because one is the portainer one that is not shown, of course. We can see node backend and DB. Can you see that small terminal icon? If we click that, and we click connect, we are inside the container file system. We can type uh, the usual Linux commands, ls. Now, this is not new. This is something that we can do even without portainer. But uh, to do that, uh, we need to type docker exec dash it. We need to look for the name of the container, 0aa, and then bash. And we are inside the container's file system. But uh, if you can't remember this command, maybe it's better in this way. And you can also show the images, the volumes and the networks. Very nice. So that's it for this video. What do you think about Portainer? Please uh, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this type of content, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And see you on the next video. Bye bye.